the Rowell Show uh, champion has been decided. It's uh, Solway View Elegance, a heifer we've seen um, over the last couple of years coming through in the show ring. Tremendous example of the breed, and um, pleased to say she's looking as well as she has done all season here at the Royal Welsh. Um, a heifer that's on a very mobile, uh, Danny Wiley being the judge today, you would expect exactly this type of animal to come out to the top of the uh, top of the pile. Uh, heifer con combining the length, stretch, style that we expect in a modern blue. Um, possibly looking a little fit earlier in the season but really now blended that down and, and carrying the muscle without any f any fat um, and, and exhibiting everything we want to see in a true blue and Kevin Watcher the proud exhibitor uh, here at the Royal Welsh on a beautiful sunny day so you're looking at Drift Domino a bull that's been shown for the last three years now uh, and exhibiting more muscle more power and more stretch than we've seen for quite a while. Um, unfortunately, just pipped to the post today by a very good heifer uh, in uh, Solway View Elegance from Kevin Watcher. But Jeff and Lorraine Dunn should be rightly proud of a reserve champion, um, a bull that's uh, everything we need in the breed, really, that modern, clean bull. Uh, and I know for a fact that he's been out working until just a few days before coming to the show. Um, and that's exactly what we want. We don't want these over, over fat cattle. Um, the blue's all about lean and mean and muscle and muscle definition and that's what you're looking at there in our reserve champion at the Royal Welsh Danny Wiley very ably judging today and we'll catch a catch a minute with Danny uh, when he's finished talking to the exhibitors today's uh, judge at the Royal Welsh show has been Danny Wiley from the Tamhorn herd um, he's exhibited his true professionalism as normal um, a tremendous show of cattle I think particularly Danny today with the females um, but I'd just like a few views on what you've seen in front of you and uh, the quality you've had before you today please yeah I think uh, all credit's got to go to the exhibitors Phil yeah just like you say bulls were smaller classes but when it comes to the females there were some fantastic classes yeah. it's particularly the two-year-old heifers uh, mobility size power Absolutely. and flesh I think the breed's moving from strength to strength, personally, yeah. Yeah, and in your champion today, obviously, yeah. came from that class. Yes. Uh, Solway View Elegance. Yeah. Um, that's just what you were looking for yes, today. Yes, yeah, big What power. split that from the bull for you today? Just alertness, sharpness on the day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the bull was just seem at the finish there in particular with his weight. It's always difficult when older bull. Yeah. Just going that bit tireder and sleepier, yeah. That's right. And the heifer was performing, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And in the younger heifer classes, Danny, some really classy animals. Oh, Obviously, yes, there's another day for yes. them. Where was, you know, what was the star of the show in the younger classes for you? Yeah, well, I found them um, probably the, the baby class in particular. There was a couple of different types, and I went for probably the shorter, more compact type. Yeah. Which you know myself, I prefer growthier animals. Yes. But it so happened, just the growthier ones in that class weren't they just probably fit enough on the day? That's right. And I went for the power and the flesh yeah. and. Yeah, and uh, I think the one thing that I've always found with you, Danny, and I think as breeders we respect yeah. you as a judge, is you've always gone for that correctness and uh, correctness of leg, and that's yeah. something yeah. that really came through today. Yes, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that I think that's where the brood breed has improved out of all yeah. recognition. Yeah, used to get laughed at when we went out in parades, and now they cannot wit out walk any other animals. Absolutely. A good team of blue cattle. Somebody commented oh. earlier on that the limousines are trying to breed blues yes, and the blues are maybe yeah. trying very to breed limousines so. and there's some truth in that I think. Very much so, yeah. very much so, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, we've uh, just towards the end of the day now, we've had the interbreed at the Royal Welsh and I've managed to catch up with Neil Lloyd who's been extremely busy today, the black and blue show team and in true fashion he's had the blues out and the blacks, <laughs> uh, done very well in both. Uh, but we've got a cracking example of the breed here that Neil and Sally have shown today. Uh, an Empire Duo Shane Daughter, which is always good for Norbreck. Uh, but a heifer that exhibits all that modern character, style and power that we need in the breed. And really, I just want to ask you, Neil, what your thoughts are on, obviously, the heifer you've bred, uh, a bit on the back pedigree maybe, and a little bit about your views on the future of the breed. Well, um, our views on our own heifer here at the moment, we strive to breed long, clean, cattle with very good mobility. It's not easy to achieve because unfortunately there isn't a massive pool of stock bulls we can fall upon to use at the minute but we're trying to breed an easy calving well large framed animal really on good legs with good mobility and a bit of yeah. character too. At the end of the day all the cattle have got to have a good bit of character and they've got to carry it all off 
as a complete package. Many of the blues today have got all those attributes, but they don't all necessarily come in one package. Put together. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. So going forward, I mean, obviously you're focusing very hard, as you always have done with your commercials, the, the Angus and the Blues, uh, on those traits and putting it all together. Where do you think as a breed, you know, young breeders, a lot of good young breeders coming into the game now, a um, little bit of advice on where to focus, what to well, do in the future? Uh, our focus has always been with the breed to set yourself a standard. And if you can get to that standard and then you look, to the rest of the breeders and the ones that are doing well and you try and strive to get better or equal to them and do as best you can it's not easy no it's not easy but looking to the future i feel the blues are on the right track we are just you know in between with the breed at the minute there's sure. some that are a bit weaker than others but i think ultimately if we can breed good mobility good bone structure, frame and size, the power will come. Yeah. Because unfortunately, as we start to get the lift in the cattle, we do lose a bit of the shape. Sure. We, we don't maintain it as well as we should. Very difficult to put it's it all difficult together. It's difficult to put it together, but yeah. that's where we're trying to be. Yeah. And um, ultimately, you know, it, 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 it's breeding and, and, and that's your passion, isn't it? And trying sure. to get better each year, year yeah. on year. Striving for that. Yeah. Um, and going forward, um, reason giving and uh, and we've seen today a judge who's very capable of giving reasons uh, and, and explaining that as he's judging and to the to the different breeders up and down the line through my Holstein connections the Holsteins uh, the Holstein breeders particularly would would school heavily and have judging schools and give and reason giving what's what's your view on that maybe in the well, future my the view, beef industry my view on that is I think we should start all these things at an earlier level luckily now the British Blue Society has got involved with the Aberdeen Angle Society on the Youth Development yeah. Project and I do classes a couple of times a year to bring youth into it. We cover all aspects of the show ring and etiquette and judging is one of them. I think strongly at royal and major county show level that the judges, whoever they may be, if they are not brave enough to hold that microphone and give their reasons on their first four placings, sure. then maybe they should think twice about judging the show of those calibre. Yeah. Well, I think if you're man enough to stand there, you should be able to give your reasons and you know without fear or prejudice. Excellent. Thank you very much, Neil. Thanks okay. for your time.